Welcome back, welcome to, and thank you for joining the Davis Channel. We are at Bellevue State Creek, Bellevue State Creek Park. We're going to play the shorts, and today my goal is to beat my best score in a ranked tournament, which was a C tier, uh, five under. So we tie it, cool. <clears throat> but the goal is to beat it now, because I feel like I feel like we should beat it. But win this arm wrestling match. We're gonna, we're gonna just be beast out here today. <sighs> we're gonna be a beast mode today, baby. <sighs> Gave myself a small tester. I'm going with uh, Marvels today. I don't know why. I just saw the blue and I thought, you know what? Yeah. That's my dog. Yeah. It's going to be a good day, I think. O2 is only 180 feet. Oh, it's a little long, but that's okay. When I said a little long, I thought it was like, I didn't think it was this long. Hmm. Okay. O3 is only 220 feet. It looks really short from the short pad today. I don't, I don't know why. Um, but I love the up and over play, even though it's a stupid play. <clears throat> like, I don't need to do this. But I like to do this on this hole. I don't know. I don't know why. That was a little, that was a little far. So when I'm preparing, especially for Bellevue, and I get a couple practice rounds in, that was a bug that went right in my ear. Um, <clears throat> I always kind of expect to birdie holes one and two. And three is a nice bonus. I should have just thrown something straight. I could have made it there. I don't know why I do this up and over thing. Oh, that would have been an awesome two to take. So we're already kind of behind the eight ball here with one under. That was cool. <clears throat> There's a couple holes in the back nine that I tend to have meltdowns on, so try to play them safe. All right, hole four is 270 feet. Baskets in the woods on the right hand side. There's this little low hanging branch that's like the perfect spot to just crash your disc, dude. Saying dude again because I've only got about two and a half hours of sleep today. <clears throat> is what it is. <clears throat> I needed a little more skip than that in, but it wasn't a bad shot. Oh, 
Oh man, these putts are actually feeling pretty good today, man. I just, I'm not giving myself enough of a, so I'm only one under. Through, uh, through four. I gotta do something different here, man. Oh, five, three, fifteen to the A position, which is right behind that tree, straight ahead of us. <sighs> oh, you turning on me, huh? Okay. Oh, you leaf. <laughs> oh, that felt so on, man. It's all right. I mean, you were here first. You've been here for hundreds of years, you know. I just got here 39 years ago. So... So, hole six is 195 feet. A nice little archway. I want to kind of, for me, it's pretty cut and dry. I just want to get something that hyzers in and maybe skips up. If I get something that pushes just a little bit and gets closer to the mound and skips up over the mound, it's like perfect. Like that's almost, it's almost perfect. There we go. Two under through six. Man, it really should be three or four under. I gotta stop going up and over on three. Two, I just juiced a little too much. Mental notes for the next time because I have a feeling <laughs> there's going to be a next time. <clears throat> Hole seven is 215. It's a par three. There's a mando here. You just you're going straight down this gap. The basket is off to your right. It's really it's really just another stock hyzer shot like the last hole is. Um, any amateur that ever comes out to Bellevue and wants to get a, like a, have a nice friendly round of disc golf, this is the best place. I love this course. The shorts are really forgiving. All right, just like that, we're three under. All right, hole eight is 275 feet. Just up on off to the right. Really want something kind of straight ish and that kind of fold into itself. I'm gonna throw the warship here. Win the arm wrestling match brother. <clears throat> oh it's gonna be short but what a great line. Nose up but that was cool. That was a good line. I thought I thought I was short like here with a putt. Man, this thing hit and skipped all the way up. Good job, Warship. <clears throat> Thanks for the tapping. So that's it's four under now, man. We got one more hole in the front nine. If I can get five under on the front nine too, that's great because there are so many holes you can get bogeys on so fast on the back nine. Blink of an eye. All right, hole nine, 275. Thinking about going passion, kind of like right at it. Hugging this right side of this tee pad. Okay, let's win this arm wrestling match. I see my line. Let's hit it.
Get some stability, dude. Okay. I hit my line. It just didn't stable out like I was hoping it would. Man, I just needed this passion to hook up just a little bit. But it, I mean, 275, I think that's like, that is like the ideal distance for this passion. It loves to go this distance. <clears throat> it's a, it's not a tester, it's an easy putt. Just gotta hit a putt. <laughs> I get so nervy when I get up here now. There it is. Five under through the front nine. That's that cushion I need. There are a couple bogey holes. All right, we're at hole 10. It's 260 feet. You may or may not be able to see it, but it is, it's straight down this little tunnel at the end. There's a little bridge and it's right there. You just want to stay as straight as possible. Or I just say it's 260, but it is downhill, so it doesn't play as long. Um, I usually just throw a putter, but I don't really have a, I don't really have a putter that I like. So I'm going to go with a Mako 3. Where am I at? So I don't have to like, there we go. Really anything just down there. This is like, if, if you get all the way down there, that's cool. It's a three all day though. Like if, if as long, whatever. And arm wrestle. <clears throat> get off that and go straight. It's not a birdie putt, but it is a birdie putt. I have made putts from there, but that's long. So the reason I'm doing this, and I snuck through way better than I thought. Anyway, the reason I want to score better than my five under is because on my birthday, I and my wife, my wife and I, um, played a tournament here. And in the first round, I was five under. In the second round, I was five over. And in between rounds, I walked my wife to her hole, and then I realized I was really late for the tea time. Come on, baby. Sorry. And uh, <laughs> that's the real passion, dude. Come on. Um, anyway, I realized I was late. I was running to this hole, and I fell up here, and I destroyed my left arm, which is my throwing arm. And then I decided to play through with a really hurt uh, throwing arm. It's just stupid. I should have just DNF'd. So this is redemption. Now I'm six under through 10. Let's go. We're six through, we're on hole 11 now. Hole 11 is straight ahead, it's another 245. <laughs> what? Am I in, is this the matrix? What is happening? I don't know why I never paid attention to these numbers. Somebody was obsessed with 245. Maybe their kid was born at 245 in the morning or something. No idea. But I'm gonna throw this warship and I'm, I'm gonna pray that I can just get through. I see a gap. And since I've had some luck hitting gaps that I'm looking at, let's go. I didn't arm wrestle. Almost, almost, just a little early. I didn't let it come out of my hand. That's okay. That's all right. We got it. We got a buffer now. Six, six under, six under. I think if I go out a little, no, I'm just going to go to the right and just let it kind of come back in. Yep. We'll take the three. Five past 10 and 11 to go to 12, maybe. I have no idea. Maybe it's his first time here. We'll help him out. Hole 12 is a nice tunnel shot. It's open for the first half of the shot, so it's 165 feet. So the first like 80-ish feet, you've got like semi-open area, but you have to hit a very tiny specific gap. Um, and then the basket's just right there, man. I've hit basket, I've hit band. I haven't hit 
chains yet on this one. Where'd that guy go? Where did that guy go? Man, okay. So. I thought that was going to turn just a little bit more. I was so excited. Ugh. So this is one of those holes though where like, it's a par three. It's only 160 something feet. But like once you get to like a certain distance, man, it is, there's nothing. Like you've got really nothing to like. I mean, that was so bad. But you don't really have anything else to do. Like, there's so many little baby trees here that this is the best shot that I had to try to make it. So let's get a three, hopefully, here. Mm -hmm. All right. Back to five under. <laughs> the putts, man. The putts. All right, so hole 13. Hole 13 is 200 feet. Just need something that's kind of listening lazily to the left or something like kind of a straight shot. I could throw a Mako here. I'm gonna throw the rhythm. Go, baby. Oh, it's up there though. <laughs> oh. get back down to six so right yeah because I went to five oh, oh baby all right back to six here we go this is getting fun it's getting a little intense <laughs> this is getting <laughs> yee but I know on this next hole and the hole after oh it could become a complete meltdown Oh man, okay, hole 14. I think I'm gonna try to put like the little, like whatever it is that I'm at. So I'm six under right now. We're, we're, we're at the goal, we've got, we got a lot of disc golf to play. Another 245, what is happening here? Anyway, okay, 245 feet. Got some people coming, I'm gonna try to get it out there before they get there. Move, movement's essentially straight ahead. That's good. That's good. We're safe. Dude, I've never felt so like... <sighs> oh, all right, come on. No, it wasn't it. It wasn't it. <clears throat> All right. I'm so happy that this stayed in bounds, though, because uh, like the, the trail, for some reason, is OB on this one, but you literally throw on the trail in the next hole, so make that make sense. All right. Save the three on 14. Man. Okay. Hole 15. Par three, 275. Every, everything's 275 apparently. Davis didn't know. I had no idea that every short on this course was 275. It's not every, obviously, but still. Anyway, 
it's all the way down on the right it's 275 that's so a passion and let's just get it there dude let's get it there dude let's get it there dude come on man oh i'm having fun today baby Okay, got a little amped up on the on the tee box when I threw that shot because man, it was just, it's, there's so many times I don't get a good clean shot on this hole. I overshot it a little bit, not complaining. Knowing that I can pull out a passion and throw that kind of shot and get this kind of result. I mean, I have a look at least. Normally I'm way up there and I don't have a look at all. Mmm. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, man. It's okay. This is, again, this is one of those holes. I'm still six under. And this is one of those holes that, like, it destroys your dreams. So we got a three. I'm okay. Life is good. We're good. Alright, hole 16 is 225 feet. And this is a hole that is dedicated to John Ellickson. He's got a nice commemorative bench off to the left here. You know, and it's funny because every time I got to this hole, like in, in pre today, I'm having a blast. So like there's my adrenaline is going, <laughs> I want to take a moment. Um, but I would always get to this point, like, especially in the summertime and it'd be hot and I'd be tired. And like, like, why am I even out here doing this thing? And then I'd look over to this bench. And of course, you're out here. Because <clears throat> one day you're not. Because <laughs> one day you're not. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little emotional. Let's not mess up now. We're doing okay. <laughs> you dummy. Oh. oh, I messed up now. This is going to come down to the wire. <laughs> what, a, oh, what a jokester. <clears throat> okay, let's get this now. Come on. We got a tester. We're out here playing. It's a fun game. And it's all it is is a game. Life is nothing but a game. So go play. Oh, <laughs> if I made it on that, like little nope, that would have been fun. All right, well, we're back down to uh, five under. With two holes to go. <laughs> Why? Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go make the biscuits. You know what I mean? Oh, I thought I almost pulled that, dude. I'm trying not to get six under. Like I'm trying to sabotage myself today. Two more holes. Got to get birdies. All right, five under. Hole 17. It's just sitting there, straight ahead. Let me guess, 275, no, it's uh, 170 feet. It's just, just sitting there. Let's go tap in, finish out 600. Oh. 
Okay. Well, I gave myself a nice long tester. I thought I was way closer than this. Thought I was there. <clears throat> so. Come on, cow! Oh, ho. <laughs> okay. Don't mess up hole 18. Just par hole 18. Oh my god. I'm emotionally drained. I don't know why this is so like I don't know why. It's just we're just playing a game. But six under is a great score for me. And uh, yeah, let's go. All right, dude, we literally just can't poop the bed. And like, we're good. Like this is, <laughs> it's 170 feet. It is just on the other side of like, there's like two, two skinny trees, one big tree, it is right there. All we gotta do is play smart. Win the arm wrestling match. I didn't play smart. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We got a putt. We got a putt. All we got to do is make a putt. Like in hindsight, I was like, oh, maybe I should have just left it there and ran up to this location to put it in. Like, who cares, dude? Like, this is, <laughs> pretty sure we got this one, you know? Oh my God. Six under, baby, we did it. Thank you for watching, thank you for joining. That was so fun, dude, so much fun. The passion on 15, crazy sauce. The, <laughs> the messing up on 16, nutty. The big putt on 17 to get back down. Thanks, John. I appreciate the, uh, the emotional ride, dude. That was fun. I wanna say thank you for joining the Davis channel, for being a part of it. We're 175 subscribers, it's nothing in the universe, but it's fun. And uh, I get some cool feedback from people and it's, it's this has been very entertaining for me as like a uh, creative outlet. So I implore you, go do the same, go have fun, go play. Life is short. That was, <laughs> <laughs> it was an emotional roller coaster, man. Um, from a slow start to kind of getting to where I thought we should have been in the front nine to almost botching it at the end. Oh, what a dummy. That was so fun. I really thought that this was going to take me two, three tries to do, at least, at the very least. And uh, we, got in, we got in the first try. Still, my sentiments still continue. Shout out to Over Overthrow Disc Golf Channel. And uh, hey, win that arm wrestling match and go win some some rounds. Y'all take care now. Thank you for watching. Peace and love. Love you, T, Lily, Violet.